Hey, welcome to this edition of Real Talk. We are in episode two of our first season of Real Talk, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been talking for a while. First of all, my name is Matt, and this is Sarah. And we are uh, gamers and friends, and we like to talk about games as friends. We're good at it. We do, uh, and we are. So today we actually want to talk a little bit about Harry Potter. Yes. Uh, because they just announced here in the last month or so that we're going to get two games next I year. I know, it's crazy. Like, it's um, Christmas coming twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Now, one game I think everybody's aware of, and that's the AR ARG we're going to see, right? ARG? Yeah, the Harry Potter yeah. Go. Yeah, exactly. Or, or Wizards Unite, I yes. think is the official name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which, which should be interesting. I'm curious to see... I don't know how it's going to work. Like, I, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have like people dueling in the streets. I, or what, what, I hope so, but... What that would look like. I mean, I can just imagine walking downtown and seeing two people Using facing Using your off. phones to like... Right? And then a phone's flying out of your hand. Oh, and everything. Man. And wrist straps for those now, too. Otter, otter box <laughs> sales are going to go up, is all I'm saying. Um, but then there's actually another one, too. And it's the Hogwarts Mystery. Yeah, which, that's a more newer. Yeah, I think so. I still have no idea what that is either. But. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the little bit of reading I did, and by little I mean I read it five minutes before we started doing this, <laughs> um, was that it's going to be more of like this experience of, of, of the Harry Potter world. Like you're going to yeah. explore and you're... Living the life. Living the life, exactly. You're gonna. What do they say here? It's like Defense Against the Dark Arts, Dueling Club, and different courses are things you're going to be able to take right. in this. So I don't... Again, know how that's going to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, that's, a, that's a tough one to figure out. Yeah. But that being said, it'll be interesting to see kind of what comes down the pipe this next year. Most definitely. Um, but those announcements got us talking um, a little bit, and we thought it'd be kind of fun for this real talk to talk about what we'd like to see in a Harry Potter MMO. Yeah. Um, because it should have happened so long ago. Right? I totally agree. I don't know why that's not a thing. I know. Um, I'm, I'm actually really disappointed that I'm it's I'm hoping not. this kind of gets the ball rolling, though. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Like, hey, MMOs are going to be... Yeah, I agree. As long as you don't do, like, an, a mobile MMO, um, I, I would riot, I think. I would. They're already getting two mobile games. They can branch out. Mm-hmm. I agree. So that being said, you know, we want to talk a little bit about what we think would be some of the best things to see in a Harry Potter There's MMO. Lots. Oh, there are. <laughs> uh, yeah, even before we started listening, it was really good. But um, starting out, I guess, you know, if, if they were going to create, if Warner Brothers finally licensed, you know, someone to, to make a Harry Potter MMO, uh, what are some things that you would like to see in that MMO? Oh, boy. Um, I would like to see an original story. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's quite important. I need JK to come back and do it. I, yeah, I would agree with No that. play stuff. No, yeah. none yeah. of that. I want, mm -hmm. like, brand new story. Mm -hmm. But I, I used to need Harry Potter in there. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think like, a mentor system would be really cool. Nice. Okay. So, like, you can pick Harry Potter if you want to be nice and cool, or you can pick Draco. I guess people from each house would be probably good. Yep. But I think, like, growing into your mentor, like, um, the DC Universe Yes. Game. Yeah, their mentor system is really cool. I like that a lot, actually. So I think that'd be, like, a good way to fit him in there, but still have an original story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really like that idea, actually. Yeah, because that could give you, I mean, a lot of ways of learning, like, specialized spells and mm -hmm. things like that based on the, on the mentor. Maybe brown nose really come on. Uh, exactly, <laughs> yeah. So now, with your mentor system, would you have multiple choices within each house? Because I'm just thinking, like, I mean, in, in Gryffindor, as an example, you could have Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Yeah, um, I think you need, like, probably, like, the three most popular in each house is okay, the way go you're going to have to go because, I don't know, I don't even know three popular Hufflepuff people, but... <laughs> Justin, that's that's... Flush, flush yeah, there you go, there you I go, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, because the yeah. only the only real famous one's dead, so that's kind of oh, awkward. Oh, so, sorry, anyway. Cedric. It's, it's okay. Um, I'm a I'm a Hufflepuff. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'll get over. I promise. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think and the dark side needs people too. So. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's fair. Yeah, so that I think the mentor good. system is a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the the combat system for a game like that. I that's, would. Yeah. I would really like to see um, something along the lines of an Elder Scrolls style combat system. I was system. thinking that too. Like Bethesda um, would be great at this if they could make an MMO like oh, Elder Scrolls, but they didn't. Really, that was like yeah, that was that but, was Cinemax, yeah, yeah. Like I think that'd be mm -hmm. crazy universe. To I put think on there. yeah, I think, and there's so many different types of spells out there. I'd love to see like classes of spells. Yeah, like you get better at using them too, like the Elder mm -hmm. Scrolls system. Exactly. Yeah, use okay. like like that combat system. I mean, again, you want to tweak it to fit the world. Yeah. But that, hey, that you do mix a, of, a lot, you can open so many more doors. Right, absolutely. You just get progressively better at lock picking, <laughs> uh, which would be good. But but yeah, like I was thinking, you could even you know you break your spells down into tiered systems. You could yep. you could have classes of magic yep. and, and different things like that. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd even talked a little bit about like, you know, advancing that with like adding potions and and different things like that. Or like transfiguration, like you progressively get better animals to turn into. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It could be like a beast mode. Your ultimate could be like (laughs) rock in a bear form or something. Exactly. uh, That'd be crazy. Or spider form. Man, there's so many good Harry Potter animals that you could probably turn into. Like a giant. Exactly. Yeah. Troll in dungeon. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) exactly, Right. So, so yeah. So for me, that was one of the big things was like seeing this, this crazy Twitch based combat system, but still having your hot bar and, yeah. and your consumables and you gotta probably make up a few extra spells but yeah absolutely but you know i think there's a lot of room for that yes. um i mean especially if you if you pull from the movies which kind of made up some of their own stuff that's true uh, along the way as well it kind of gives some freedom there yeah. but um so yeah so that was the big thing for me what else what else would you like to see um oh man like how do you feel about factions yeah i i was kind of thinking about it as mm-hmm. um there's like choices in the story Choices okay. for good and evil. Mm-hmm. And then you could go evil, but like, hey, sometimes you're having a bad day when you're good and you want to go evil. <laughs> okay. So then you can go that way, but it's kind of like a vampire system in the Elder Scrolls. So it's like a super long mm-hmm. trust can- uh, quest chain to get back to where you were. Okay, gotcha. But I only want you to do that once. <coughs> okay, fair You have to do it. Okay. But yeah, I think there has to be the Voldemorts and the Harrys mm-hmm. in there. Hmm. So you're looking for some type of like Paragon Renegade system, exactly. like what you see in. Uh... Yes, I want I want there to be heavy choices. Mm-hmm. I want you to go on a good bad journey. Like I need, I need like a Mass Effect choice system in there. All right, wow, that'd be pretty intense in a MMO setting. I mean, Swotor kind of does one. Yeah. Um, to a degree, um, you know, and I mean, really, that really, uh, at least with my experience with Swotor, it's really just played more into the cutscenes than anything. That's um, pr- yeah, that's. You know, yeah, but not to say it couldn't be done. I think there's some room for it, and it could impact even the way that you interact with characters. Like again, thinking of Elder Scrolls, like the intimidation system versus like the charm system that yep, you can use true. in the game. Yeah, and so yeah, it could work really well actually having some type of, of thing. Now talking about factions though, like I'm thinking splitting into houses. Like how would that? Oh boy. You know how do you how do you implement? Oh, that? I was thinking too. Like what if we add the other schools? Oh, do they have their own faction? That's such a crazy good idea. I know. Idea. I was like, I don't, I don't think she ever fleshed that out. So you could probably grow on that too. That's true too. So, so then, would you in an MMO setting, would you make it more about like the three schools? And then I think so. I think that? we need like a battle of the three schools because they never got to, like they only got the huh. one time to flesh it out. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so I think that's a, a good story point to kind of go off of because they don't see each other enough. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, that be, I mean, that begs the question, too. Would anybody even join the other schools? That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> the like, of hey, does somebody have like a really bad mm. hate for Hogwarts that they need to switch? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe there should fair. be different incentives. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, but even within that, like uh, within this, within Hogwarts itself, having the four schools, even or sorry, the four um, houses. I mean, even if there was just perks to being a part of the house, exactly. but it's still part of the Hogwarts. Like, hey, you banner. can only be dark arts or or. Uh, creatures magical creatures like you can only be that at Victor Crumb school or whatever oh okay like that, yeah like so. focus it in a little more that way yeah yeah like give you the like the buffs to those types of things exactly right? absolutely so crafting what would you want to see in crafting in that game you need potions yeah potions would be there oh what else do you, uh, you got herbology so I guess you can have like your yeah your gathering plant picking and your, and yeah your gathering and your crafting I don't know what you'd fit mining or stuff like that well I mean like collecting yeah essence, I guess essence to make wands and stuff like that that's true yeah you could go wand craft I was even thinking as we were talking you know like the philosopher stone concept oh boy like there are other oh, magical artifacts like that, that yeah. you could make okay. um, that would require things like not necessarily mining but along that line yeah. of, of you know that's finding thing, gems yeah. and, and different things like that um, so yeah I think there's some room for crafting I think they'd have to take a few liberties to really kind of build a decent crafting system yeah uh, you know I don't know that maybe you could get a, I don't know maybe like sewing um, like with cloaks making and, your cloth yeah. yeah well I'm just thinking like like you get the invisibility cloak right like as oh an example gosh, so you could ultimate. have different different cloaks with different attributes and things like that you could actually most you know, definitely because I mean be busy. that opens up a lot of room if you start you know infusing things with magical items and, and things yeah. like that so I don't okay. know just a I thought see how you're going. could be good could hmm. be good so uh, so one last thing what, what's one last thing you'd like to see in this MMO I need to have like um, other popular characters come in, like Dobby and Hagrid. Mm. I want them to be part of it too. So yeah. I think like doing side quests with them to kind of get the nostalgia going mm-hmm. is a good way. Like I want, oh, I guess I want my own kind of dorm too to decorate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're in a dorm room. So, that's fair. Okay, I'm absolutely. getting ahead of myself. Hey, no, that's right. That's right. Myself got me there, but mm-hmm. yeah, I, I want people to come back, but I also want kind of new staples. Yeah. So yeah, I think mm. having kind of party members or kind of side quest 
for, for going different, back different to the old absolutely. school, I think is important too. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things, and I don't know if I necessarily have a solution to this or even, even have fully fleshed this out in my own head, but like what the world would look like. Like, do we, is it all in Hogwarts? Do we get do you, some Hogsmeade in there? Yeah, do you go to Hogsmeade? Do you go to London? If do you're you going to have the other people, you have to build, like, new schools. That's like, true. You never see Which them. I guess that opens up a lot of areas, too. I think so. so. Like, it's probably, like, icy and... Yeah, Victor we're like land and yeah, super absolutely. sunny and lovely and yeah, and, yeah, this is true. That's true. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to see how that works. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I think those are some things. I think the last thing I'd want to see is some sweet mounts. Oh, I was gonna um, say pets. Yeah, you like pets, pets and too. mounts. I think would be incredible. I mean, brooms obviously. Yes, but could you put Quidditch in there? Oh, or is that like an expansion? no, no, no. Well, it could be an expansion, absolutely. <laughs> but I, I think Quidditch could totally be a thing. That'd like, be, like, have Quidditch like, tournaments? Yeah, you could do <gasps> duels and stuff, but I think Quidditch would be like the PvP of, of the oh Harry my, Potter like, MMO, it's like right? the Battlegrounds. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Battlegrounds. Like, Quidditch is the Battlegrounds. Oh, my god! I think that would be incredible to see, honestly. Well, you had, like, a broom crafter then, too. <laughs> you would. See? There you go. There's your crafting it's, coming Everything's back coming in. together. <laughs> so, it's good. So, anyway, that's us writing, apparently, our own thoughts <laughs> on the Harry Potter MMO. But we would love to hear from you guys. I yes. know there's a lot of Potterheads out there. Not Potheads, but Potterheads, <laughs> yeah, who yeah, absolutely love Harry Potter <laughs> and, and love that universe that J.K. Rawlings has made that's along so with us. Awesome. And uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. If if they were going to do an MMO, what would you want to see in it? What would you What would you love to see? What would you not want to see? Yeah, that's probably a lot of um, too. Yeah, I mean, we've just thrown out a few ideas that we've been thinking about, that we've been talking about, but we would love, love to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, make sure you catch our podcasts every week. Yes. We put those every week, our blogs every week as well. And uh, and also Real Talk, which, uh, you know, we, here we're now. here now, and we're going to keep doing this and uh, crank it up. And also check out our streams that we do Wednesday yeah, nights. Yeah, Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights, uh, 9 Eastern, 9-ish. Eastern, <laughs> try, try to be on at nine. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Casually late. Yeah, casually. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt. Sarah. And we'll talk to you later. See ya.